Right, today we're going to look at why sometimes in the control accounts we get irregular or unusual balances brought down. In other words, they seem to be, or they are, on the incorrect side. Uh, it's very important to note that we um, did cover total debtors and um, total creditors control accounts in a previous video and it's uh, very important you watch that first before you watch this or you're just going to be thoroughly confused. So sometimes in the sales ledger where the balances, a majority of which should be on the debit side because uh, a debtor is an asset to us, they owe us money, um, for some strange reason we get a balance brought down on the credit side. And in the purchases ledger which contains all our creditors, um, the majority of balances brought down will obviously be on the credit side because we owe our creditors money for the supplies that they've given us on credit. Um, occasionally we'll get the irregular transaction balance brought down on the debit side. So why does this occur? Well basically the simple answer to that is it's a delay in time. So if we go back to the creation first of all in the sales ledger of a debtor, the very first transaction will be when we buy from our debtor credit um, sales and debit our debtor account. Then let's say our debtor pays us um, a few days later, so obviously we created the debtor on the 1st but he pays us on the 11th, that's going to go out of the debtor account and into our bank account. Now of course that account should be dead. But let's just for a moment um, assume that he's been rather hasty, he's paid us before he's checked that the goods are actually what he ordered or before he checked to make sure that the goods actually work. Um, and he's later on found out that he wants to return the goods inwards to us as a business. We can see then that the returns inwards is going to go out of our returns inwards, uh, sorry, out of our debtor account into our returns inwards T account. And so you're left with this irregular balance carried down and brought down because um, we should have only um, we well, should have a dead account, but instead we have a balance brought down of, I should say, 100, uh, and a balance carried down of 100. And that's where, uh, why in a control account sometimes you get a balance brought down on the credit side. With the um, purchases ledger control account, which checks all the creditors, sometimes you can get a balance brought down on the debit side, which is very unusual. And it's for the same reason, it's a delay in time. So this time we're dealing with a creditor, we've bought purchases of 200. So that's going to go out of our creditor account as they supply us the goods and into our purchases account on the debit side. We then pay them on the 12th, but then we decide that we uh, are going to return outwards $200. So perhaps they didn't work or there was a fault with them. We would obviously credit our returns outwards and debit our creditor accounts. And until um, our creditor gives us back the money, we're going to have a balance carried down of 200 and brought down on the debit side of 200. And as you can see, um, in the creditor account, a balance brought down on the debit side, very, very unusual, a result of basically a delay in time before our creditors give us the money back. And here in the debtor account in the sales ledger, we have a balance brought down unusually on the credit side of 100. And that's because we'll want to check that the returns are genuine, that uh, there is a reason for them returning the goods. If they said they're broken, we need to check they are actually broken. Until we actually give them the money back, then we will have this irregular balance brought down as a transaction on the credit side of our debtor accounts. Oh,